Okay, this is a small YouTube uh, uh, video to show how to uh, do screencast on Mac. Uh, I will use the Apple QuickTime to do this. So before we do anything, we want to adjust the screen resolution. So go to a system preference, display, and then look for the resolution. Uh, usually by default the resolution is pretty high, too much for YouTube. So here I choose the 800 times 600, which is uh, very low, but still good enough for YouTube videos. So once we do that, so now it's in 800 and 600 format. And then we start QuickTime Player. Now Screencast is in File, New Screen Recording. Now once we click that, it's actually very important to where the sound will come from. The sound is in this uh, uh, this uh, lower triangle, and once you click that, if you if I choose built-in microphone, internal microphone, that's where the sound will come and quality high. So if you choose none, it will be a silent video, and I'm not sure the the default is probably none. And so here I choose built-in microphone. That's very important for a screencast for lectures. Okay, so now before we do recording, you want also want to make sure your uh, presentation is ready. So here my presentation is uh, going to be, uh, <coughs> sorry, I prepare my slides here. And then I go back to uh, a quick time. Now I'm going to click the red button here, start re screen recording. Once we click that, it's going to say, do you want to record a full screen? or a part of the screen. I'm going to do a full screen. So just click. That's going to a full screen recording. And I quickly flip to my uh, slide presentation. And don't worry about this uh, screen recording interface. It actually won't be seen. So you can move it to a place you don't want. Right? So you probably want to do this uh, from the start if you know how your screen is going to look like. So. <coughs> So this is, uh, and then we can start your lecture here. So here's my, uh, uh, well, the R lecture I do. Uh, this is for input, output, and plot in R. And then I go to my next slide, how to do read uh, into a data uh, into R. So we can, so here I'm using a, a command called uh, read.csv. So one thing I found useful to, is to use a PowerPoint pane. Uh, so here I'm going to choose PowerPoint pane. So this uh, the in uh, I pull the shortcut is pound p. That's actually what I often use, and I'm, I often like the color uh, green uh, or blue uh, instead of red. But it doesn't. That's just personal test. So here I'm going to say uh, well uh, use a read.csv format and make sure the file is in CSV format, and we are going to assign a variable to say a uh, table. That's uh, my lecture here. And then you can go back to the QuickTime screen interface and just uh, click the stop button. Now it stopped. So what is now, it actually automatically goes to the new video. The QuickTime automatically goes to the new video we just recorded. We can actually play, see what. Click to my uh, slide presentation. And don't worry about this uh, screen recording. So see here, and and this part must so be where that screen recording is. Don't it's not showing. Right. So you probably want to do this uh, from the start. If you know how your screen going to look like. Okay, let me, uh, so before I close it, actually asked me to save the file name. I'm going to call screencast demo dot movie. And it, uh, it's good to remember where the directory is. So. Right now it's in documents. So I save this, it's in documents. Now I go back to YouTube to, now this is my YouTube account. I want to upload, go to upload, select file from my computer, go to document, that's the screencast demo uh, I just did, and then click open. So now it's uploading the video. It's a small video, so it's pretty fast. And before uh, I want to release, I often choose uh, the private. That way I can also do some uh, uh, simple editing using the YouTube editing uh, function and even add some annotation to correct some uh, mistake. 
doing my lecture and slides. Uh, or you can even uh, uh, add a few questions, uh, uh, more explanation. Those are, I think it's called uh, video annotations. So once it's ready, it will, um, that link should uh, directly link to how the video will be viewed by others. So after some editing, I often then reset uh, the video as a public. And if sometimes if you are uh, when I worry about uh, copyright those things, I only want to limit the video to the class. I choose unlisted. What unlisted is that you have uh, I can link that uh, uh, put a YouTube link into my course site, say Moodle, or if you like use a Blackboard or other things. You put that link into the class site, and student can click that link and go to YouTube. But since it's not public, other people cannot see the link, and so. So it's called the uh, 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 I can open for public. So there, and that's my screencast video. Uh, and so now, if we click on on the side again, okay, to yeah. My uh, slide presentation. Uh, uh, don't worry about this uh, screen recording okay. interface. It's actually.